With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that there is a neutral metallic ring which is placed in a cir uh, circular symmetric uniform magnetic field with its plane perpendicular to the field. Now, if the magnitude of the field is start increasing with time, then we need to find whether the ring would start translating or it would rotate about its axis or the ring would contract or the ring start rotating about its diameter. Now, we need to check the option one by one. Let's say that this is uh, our ring which is kept uh, horizontally. Okay. Now, from interior of this, let's say that magnetic field is going uh, because it is given that it is circular uniform magnetic field which is plane perpendicular to the field. So, uh, uh, this is basically the plane of the field and we can say that the uh, this uh, for the field it would be basically perpendicular. This is our magnetic field, direction of the magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field is basically increasing with respect to time. That means dB divided by dt, this would be positive. This is a positive quantity. Okay. Now, is uh, ring start translating. If ring start translating the A option. So, we can say that at least there should be because initially it was at rest. Now, if it is start translating, that means it would be accelerating because initially it was coming uh, 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 at rest. Now, it is coming out to be in motion. That means net force for if A is to be correct, then net force should not, not be equal to zero. Now, we know that what would be the value of the force whenever there is a uh, this uh, wire which is placed in the magnetic field. We say that force would be equal to what? It would be equal to I L cross B. Okay, so we are writing it in the vector form. Okay, this would be the value. Now, what is the value of L? Now, for the ring case, so L is basically the uh, uh, length of the two, uh, uh, this uh, section, which would be the unclosed one. For example, if we consider for this case, for the ring, basically it is a closed loop. Okay, now for the closed loop, the net force which would be occurring here, because the length would be zero. So, if this is the initial point, so the same would be the final point. Okay, now if this is of piece, if you just give a given an example, if this is a wire, okay, arbitrarily any shape of the wire. Now, let's say this is the initial point and this is the final point, okay. Now, if there is a current which is flowing into this wire, now the force value would be basically uh, equals to I, which is the current which is flowing into this wire, then the length value would be the distance from here to here. Now, if you put the distance directly from here to here, we will be getting the total value of the force which would be acting here when it is kept in the magnetic field. Now, in this case, we can say that because this is a circular loop, so initial and final point, if we choose this as to be the initial point, we can always come at this, this would be the final point. So, we say that L value would be equal to 0. So, F value would be equal to 0, that means it is it is not translating, A option is wrong. Now, in the B option, now it could rotate about an axis. It could only rotate about an axis, now in the B part and the D part also, when the net torque is not equal to 0. If net torque is 0, then it could not rotate. So, we say that the, what is the value of torque? Torque value would be equal to magnetic moment, cross product of magnetic moment, we just write it in the vector form, M cross B, okay. M cross B or we can say that it would be equal to MB, sine of theta, where theta is the angle between M and B. Now, we see that B is in the upward direction. What is the direction of the uh, this uh, magnetic moment? It is basically the direction of the area vector. So, what would be the direction of area vector? It is perpendicular to the plane. So, this would be the direction of our m vector. This is our b vector. What is the value of theta? Theta value would be equal to 0. Now, what is sin 0? Sin 0 is 0. That means torque value would be equal to 0. So, we can say that it cannot rotate about it any axis, neither about it dia. So, d would be the correct. So, that means c would be the correct option. Now, the ring uh, this slightly contract. Whether it would contract or not, now it is very easy to check. Now, we know that db by dt is positive or we can say that flux which would be equal to b into a Okay, so basically we can say that flux would be increasing. Why? Because dB by dt is positive. That means dB should be increasing. So we can say that flux is increasing. So what should this loop try to do? It should try to decrease the value of the flux. Flux. Okay. Now how can we it do? So if the ring contract, then we can say that area would be reduced. Okay. So area would be reduced and then flux could be reduced. So we can say that C would be the correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download doubt and app today.